Located around 50 kilometers east of Osaka, Kyoto is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. As the former capital of Japan, this city is known for its natural beauty, rich history, and unique culture. Getting around is fairly easy with its efficient public transportation system, and visitors can get to most of the tourist spots by using the bus, train, or subway. Here are some of the top places to visit during your trip to Kyoto. Known for its thousands of tori gates, Fushimi Inari Taisha serves as the head shrine of all of Japan's shrines dedicated to Inari, the god of rice and sake. The spectacular vermilion tori gates, donated by individuals and various companies, cover an extensive hiking trail starting at the two parallel rows of gates called Senbon Tori, which means thousands of tori gates. This is one of Kyoto's most popular tourist destinations, so we recommend visiting during early morning or late afternoon to avoid the crowds. Fushimi in Naritaisha is two stops away from Kyoto Station via the JR train. From Kyoto Station, take the JR Nara line to Inari Station. Ginkakoji, or the Silver Pavilion, was built in the late 15th century by Shogun Ashikaga Yoshimasa and was inspired by Kinkakoji, his grandfather's retirement villa that was built about a hundred years prior. Following his death in 1490, the complex was eventually converted into a Zen temple. It was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. Despite its name, silver was never used to decorate the building. It was believed that the initial plan was to cover the building with an overlay of silver foil. Alternatively, it was said that the name was derived from the way the moonlight reflects on the building's exterior, giving it a silver appearance. Visitors will find wooded grounds and a beautiful Japanese garden surrounding the temple, which is especially beautiful during the autumn season. Another interesting feature is the dry garden, known as the Sea of Silver Sand, with sand formations meant to accentuate the beauty of the moon. There are numerous ways to get to Ginkakoji from Kyoto Station. One of the fastest options is to take the subway from Kyoto Station to Imadigawa Station via the Karasuma Line. Upon arriving at Imadigawa Station, proceed to Exit 3. Stay on the left and walk to bus stop A. At bus stop A, take bus number 203. Get off at Ginkakuji Michi bus stop and follow the signs to Ginkakuji. Ginkakuji, or the Golden Pavilion, was built in 1397 by Ashikaga Yoshimutsu to serve as a retirement villa. After his death in 1408, it was converted into a Zen temple in accordance to his will. It was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. The top two stories of Kinkakoji are lavishly covered in gold leaf and is surrounded by beautiful Japanese landscapes and a large pond. Walking around the temple grounds is an absolute treat, and we recommend visiting early to avoid the crowds. There are numerous ways to get to Ginkakoji. If you are coming from Ginkakoji, make your way back to Ginkakoji Michi bus stop and proceed to bus stop B, then take bus number 204. Get off at Ginkakoji Michi bus stop and follow the signs to Ginkakoji. Built in 1603, 
ni Jojo Castle served as the residence of Tokugawa Ieyasu, the first shogun of the Edo period, during his visits to Kyoto. It is one of the most well-known castles in the city, covering an area of 275,000 square meters. After the decline of the Tokugawa period, the castle was eventually donated to the city and opened to the public. It was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. The castle grounds are filled with trees that offer spectacular autumn colors, particularly during the latter part of November. Visitors will also enjoy walking through the beautiful traditional Japanese gardens. To get to Nijojo Castle from Kyoto Station, take the Karasuma subway line to Karasuma Oike Station and transfer to the Tozai line heading to Nijojo Mai Station. Proceed to exit 1 for Nijojo Castle. Rich in history and tradition, Nishiki Market is known as Kyoto's Kitchen. This covered market has been around for many centuries and stretches to almost half a kilometer. Visitors will find a plethora of vendors selling fresh seafood, produce, souvenirs, kitchenware, and various Japanese food and snacks. To get to Nishiki Market from Kyoto Station, Take the Karasuma subway line to Shijo Station and proceed to Exit 1. Pontocho is a narrow alley filled with bars and restaurants offering a wide range of dining options. It is considered by some as one of the most beautiful streets in the city, reminiscent of old Kyoto. This area is particularly vibrant during the evening and numerous establishments offer foreign tourists English menus with English-speaking staff. To get to Pontocho from Kyoto Station, take the Karasuma subway line to Shijo Station. From Shijo Station, make your way to the Hanki Line and proceed to Karasuma Station. From Karasuma Station, take the train to Kyoto Kawaramachi Station, then proceed to Exit 1. Just a short walk from Pontocho, Gion is a traditional entertainment area and is known as Kyoto's Geisha District where visitors will find well-preserved old buildings, tea houses, and upscale dining establishments. Geisha, as well as the apprentice called Maiko, are highly skilled entertainers trained in art, music, and dance. Many tourists would visit hoping to spot a Geisha or Maiko during an evening walk around this district. Higashiyama District will take visitors back in time to the old capital city. It is one of the most beautiful places to visit in Kyoto with stunning temples and well-preserved historic streets filled with old traditional shops and houses. Check out some of these interesting places to visit at the Higashiyama District. Since the Kiyo Mizudera Temple was first in our itinerary, we took the bus from Kyoto Station by heading to bus stop D2 and taking bus number 206. We got off at the 7th stop and followed the signs to Kiyo Mizudera. Dating back to over 1,200 years, Kiyo Mizudera Temple is one of the most beautiful temples in the city known for its large wooden terrace and forested temple grounds, which is absolutely magnificent during the late autumn season.
short walk from Kiyomizudera Temple, visitors will enjoy exploring Kyoto's stunning preserved historic streets which dates back to the 15th century and are lined with small shops, restaurants, and cafes. From the preserved historic streets, it is hard to miss the Yasaka Pagoda, a five-story pagoda dating back to the year 592 and is another popular tourist attraction. After checking out the Yasaka Pagoda, visitors can make their way to Kodaiji, a Zen Buddhist temple founded in 1605. Just right next to Kodaiji Temple is Maruyama Park, a popular cherry blossom viewing spot during late March to early April, but also equally attractive during the autumn season. And finally, just right beside Maruyama Park is Yasaka Shrine, a popular Shinto shrine established in the year 656. Arashiyama, located at the outskirts of Kyoto, is one of the most important sightseeing areas that visitors should not miss. It is known for its beautiful scenery and the stunning bamboo forest. You can get to Arashiyama from Kyoto Station in 20 minutes by taking the JR train to Saga Arashiyama Station. Check out some of these interesting places to visit at the Arashiyama District. This natural bamboo forest is probably one of the most photographed places in Kyoto and is popular with both local and foreign tourists. Just a short walk from the Arashiyama bamboo forest, Tenraiji Temple was built in 1255 and was eventually converted into a Zen temple in 1339. From Tenraiji Temple, visitors can make their way on foot to the 155-meter wooden Togetsukyo Bridge, which has stood for many centuries and is a popular autumn viewing spot in late November. At the end of Togetsukyo Bridge, visitors can check out the Iwatayama Monkey Park which is inhabited by over a hundred Japanese macaques. It is important to note that the Iwatayama Monkey Park is not a zoo. There are no cages to contain the monkeys and visitors must understand that they are wild animals. Visitors must strictly follow the rules for everyone's safety and enjoyment. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next travel guide.